My name is Chester Brown. I'm the Professor of International Law and International Arbitration here in the Faculty of Law at the University of Sydney. My area of expertise and greatest field of research is international dispute settlement and this is something which has, has taken on uh, great importance in recent years. Uh, we all know that we now have an international legal order where states have an obligation to settle disputes peacefully, uh, which is of course a very positive development where states no longer are able to resort to gunboat diplomacy as was the case say 200 years ago. And we've seen international institutions created for the settlement of disputes by peaceful means, such as the International Court of Justice, which sits in The Hague and is the principal judicial organ of the United Nations. Now, we've seen not only the ICJ, which sits in The Hague, but in recent decades we've seen a, what's been described as a proliferation of international courts and tribunals, as states have quite enthusiastically engaged in treaty making, not just on general issues, but on specific regimes, and have also provided for the creation of an international court or tribunal. So we have, for instance, the World Trade Organization, which has a dispute settlement system, we have the International Tribunal for the Law of the Sea, which is created under the UN Convention on the Law of the Sea, which also provides for the creation of other arbitral tribunals on an ad hoc basis. Now, this is of course a positive development because it shows that states are interested in settling disputes peacefully rather than being left to merely negotiation and then perhaps a stalemate if negotiation doesn't result in an agreement. Uh, but it also creates difficulties, for instance, where these tribunals have jurisdictions which overlap with each other. So it's possible, for instance, that a dispute or aspects of the same dispute might be submitted for resolution to more than one international court or tribunal. And where that happens, difficulties can arise because there are no clear rules that regulate the jurisdictions of each international court or tribunal. Each of the bodies to which aspects of the dispute or the dispute in its entirety has been submitted may be entitled to exercise its jurisdiction. That can create problems where both tribunals or even three tribunals might be uh, considering aspects of a dispute and might render decisions or awards or judgments which are inconsistent with each other or which cannot be reconciled. Mm -hmm.